Hi, I'm Leslie Ann Jones, and we're here at Skywalker Sound on the scoring stage. We've had the 88R now for about 11 years, so we've worked with a ton of artists since this is our, our only music recording studio. We do a lot of uh, classical recording, um, string quartets, including uh, Kronos Quartet, uh, Del Sol, um, the record I won best engineered, um, Recording classical was done on the 88R for um, Alicia Nelson, uh, who's a violist. And uh, from that to projects I haven't worked on, but the people have used the scoring stage for, Joe Satriani, Chicken Foot, Steve Miller, um, on and on. You know, big band, um, uh, Rosemary Clooney with the Count Basie big band, um, and lots of other things. We tend to think of our room and uh, the work that we do as being very high fidelity. And so the sound of the 88R fits in perfectly with that. I think the whole design philosophy between the console, trying to take the best of what uh, Neve has had over decades and uh, combine that with um, signal flow that is uh, up to date with the least amount of stuff in the way. We have 24 of the 1081s and then uh, 24 of the air uh, preamps. And uh, that works great for us because we have a very big room. So to uh, be able to re control those remotely from the console has been fantastic. I use the automation whenever uh, I mix, yes. And I use it sort of in stealth mode even when I'm not mixing uh, just to be able to uh, save the console, save the setup. Um, and because a lot of our clients are repeat clients, so particularly our classical projects might uh, work for two days in January and not come back until June and work another two days. So it's nice to be able to kind of not have to run automation in order to be able to save all that and recall it, you know, where everything was. The features of the console I use most often are the fader solo, which I use constantly. Um, in fact, I have to remember sometimes to turn it off when I'm tracking. I will use the automated inserts. Um, something I always forget that we have, but we, we have the ability to use it, is the multi-track button on the auxes. Because we are setting up for uh, so many auxes sometimes, you forget that with the multi-track button you can just take that and go to a, one of the 48 buses and use that as a way to get to whatever piece of gear you want to. I mean, all those things are, are very handy for me, and so those are things that I use quite um, a bit. One of the things I liked best about the 88R when we had it installed was that the signal flow and the way it looked and the way I could think about it was so reminiscent of the VXS and the VR. Um, and so that sort of generation of Neve consoles, this is very much like that in terms of how it looks and how it works, but it just has a lot more going for it. Having 10 stereo buses and, two L and split LCR and all the flexibility that comes with the console and the 5.1 capability has been just fantastic. So. Um, I used it, uh, in fact, we've gotten several clients that have come in recently to mix 5-1 records. Um, Jim Anderson was just in mixing a, a Patricia Barber 5-1 um, uh, uh, record. And last year we did a project for Mercedes-Benz uh, for their 2013 uh, Roadster where they designed a special custom sound system just for the car and uh, we mixed a uh, d d uh, DVD audio um, disc for the car that was uh, 14 pop rock tunes and 10 classical tunes. And uh, uh, this console worked perfectly for that because it had plenty of flexibility and, uh, and I'm 
convinced really that the disc sounds as good as it did because it was mixed through an analog console. You know, there's no way you could mix that through the box or um, anything and, and have it sound uh, as good. And a lot of the material from that was legacy material, you know, Creedence Clearwater, Doobie Brothers, some Sheryl Crow, stuff that had been uh, originally cut on analog and mixed on analog consoles. So to be able to um, actually remix it in 5.1 on this console was, was just great. I think the thing I like most about the 88R is the flexibility to set the console up how I want to run every particular session I'm doing. And it's not always the same way. Sometimes the mics are on the little faders, sometimes they're on the big faders, sometimes uh, things are grouped, sometimes they're not grouped. Uh, it really, I can, s the console's very flexible in the way that it works. And it's very rare that I come uh, to a occasion where I run out of things or, or can't do something that I want to do because the, the console's just uh, really designed for a wonderful workflow.